Hey dear, it's Lindsay here with one of my most highly anticipated books of the year and it was everything I wanted and more and the book I'm talking about is Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo and this is a southern gothic ghost mystery and oh it was just so delicious and I just have to gush about it but don't worry this review is going to be spoiler free. But before I get into what I loved about this book, I want to give a brief plot summary so that we're all on the same page. So this story centers around two best friends named Eddie and Andrew, and they're inseparable, they're partners in crime, they're basically kind of like soulmates. However, that changes when Eddie leaves to pursue his graduate degree in American Studies. So he leaves, Andrew's by himself and they agree to meet up and Andrew says that he'll pursue um, a graduate degree in the same field so that they can be together. However, days before Andrew enters the program himself, Eddie is found dead by apparent suicide. However, Andrew's like, hey, wait, this does not sound like my best friend. He suspects foul play. So he investigates and he starts looking into it and he realizes that Eddie's thesis in regional occult studies may have come back to bite him, come back to haunt him, so to speak. So he starts trying to continue his field work, continue his thesis paper and research to try to uncover the mystery behind his death. And all in the meanwhile, a very hungry ghost appears to have latched onto him and Andrew's forced to confront both his own past as well as Eddie's. And ooh, <laughs> this is good. And oh boy, this book was hornier and gayer than I could have possibly imagined in the best possible way. So like as I was reading this and like Andrew's experiencing these hallucinations, brought on by this ghost and feeling phantom fingertips and stuff, I'm like, oh, hmm. there's some kind of erotic subtext going on here. And then there is no subtext. It was explicit gay horniness from the ghost. <laughs> so this book kind of itched a scratch that I didn't know I have. Like, apparently, I just really enjoy ghost erotica, like ghost romance. Like, I know, um... Was it earlier this year? I've lost all concept of time. I think it was earlier this year. I read um, In the Ravenous Dark, which featured a ghost romance. So I guess I'm into that sort of thing. I don't know if it was supposed to be scary. I was more turned on than anything by, for most of this book. Um, <laughs> but it made me feel something. <laughs> and again, I don't know if I took something out of this book because I'm weird that wasn't supposed to be here. I found it semi a black comedy. It wasn't like a full straight on black comedy um, like Nier Kuchan about um, unwanted possession, but the ghost kept trying to get his attention at awkward times. So I found that humorous. Um, again, that's me. <laughs> and another thing I really loved about this book was how atmospheric and lyrical it is. Like the writing is gorgeous and visceral and descriptive and it's like you could smell the gasoline because there are car races the um Andrew and his new friend group from the graduate program like to car race and all that stuff I wasn't as into that but I appreciated that it was important to the characters does that make sense I was in it for the ride with the characters not for the cars themselves Ultimately, at this story's heart, though, this is a story about grief and reconciling loss and brotherhood and also questioning your sexuality because, like, Andrew says I'm straight um, when he first, like, meets the guy group and I was, I was like, hmm, boy, you gay or you're bi, you're pan, you're something, you're definitely not straight and this is coming from someone who questioned her sexuality like until the end of college and just his focus on other guys lips and like the divot at their back I'm like boy you're not straight <laughs> you're not straight 
<laughs> it kind of reminded me of that one meme with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Pharaoh where it says like, gay, gay, homosexual, gay. That's kind of the story with the ghost. So yeah, if you enjoy supernatural mysteries about friendship, I would definitely recommend this book. And in fact, it kind of reminds me of the Raven Boys, which I also really, really adore. I'll bite. Um, unlike the Raven Boys, which is why this one <laughs> is adult and it includes partying and fun times. But yeah, I cannot recommend this book enough. And let me know if you know of any other kind of ghost or supernatural demon possession, whatever romances down below in the comments, because I think I want to explore that very niche subgenre more. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya!